and the Bulldogs win the free kick. Yeah, great frontal pressure. Dunkley away. Williams, he's been a goal kicker. He loves pushing forward Bailey Williams, and he's got another. So it's great work. So you kick the ball inside your forward 50, and then they just fell asleep. You can see the West Coast Eagles players on the right-hand side there. On the ball, Bulldogs. Dunkley. Outside, play on. Immediately to Bonham Pelly. Bonham Pelly winds up, 52 metres out. Can he get the journey? Magnificent kick. The superstar, can he ignite the dogs? The goal comes from a good, hard, honest tackle. And then the smarts to turn around. Okay. See your skipper there running onto his left foot, give the quick handball. And then there's no surprise that he's able to compose himself. And potentially around $600,000 of football taxes again. A costly decision, but one Essendon said it had to make. Thanks, John. John will keep you updated throughout the afternoon. Chalor receives it from Smith. Hits 55. Loads on the breeze. Has he got the accuracy? My word, he has. Two in a row for the Dogs as they come steaming back. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. The goal is He is. Oh, yeah. He is. You can try and read that best you can once they're able to get through this. It's always going to be a tougher kick to, to Norton. He's four metres off it, isn't he? Quicker turn, he might be a shot, but yeah, 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 I don't blame him on that. He's he's chased his man out. He's a six foot six up, six foot five. Trelaw, Hamble went looking for Dunkley. Well done, Weller. Child, can they get some runoff half back? Ignored all the options and then took a bit too long. Child coughed up. Bonson Pally sees West in the pocket. Kick went over his head and it might actually bounce through. You're a superstar, you ride the luck, don't worry about that. And it usually falls your way in the positive. So with Bonton Pally here looking for West over the over the top, finds the gut. <laughs> Pure luck. Collars Daniel. Eagles win it and have numbers now around the football. Nelson coughs it up though to Bontempelli. The turnover, that's where it can prove costly. Liberatore receives. Now away to Dale. Can run to 50. He can launch a kick all the way. So it's a Nelson handball, then the turnover, and then they know where to line up. In the middle of the ground quick succession of handballs, get it into someone who can have a penetrating kick. Little give to Caleb Daniel who goes low, English, hopes it sits for him, slapped it in front of Trelaw, works it over to Waitman, back it comes to Dunkley, now a chance, Bailey Dale normally finishes brilliantly, it's got everything he was hoping for. Four goal game. See here, really clever from Tim English, not taking possession but knocking it to advantage to Trelaw. The ball gets surged forward and then Bailey Dale coming off the halfback line, streaming forward and kicking a really important yeah. goal. Driving ball, Bruce, mistiming yeah. that and battle has been in the middle. That's holding the air a little too long. Bonham Pally with the run to Bailey Dale. Bailey Dale with a low blurter. Ah, goes all the way. It was a great intercept mark from Battle, and look, the kick was on. That's how St Kilda play. They want to go through the corridor, but it was just too much hang time on that ball, which gave Bont the intercept mark, and, and Dale was tagged out of the game last week, but that's how they want him. Give him the ball, let him run. Jure cuts it off, inside to Martin. Smith, Trelaw. This is Murray Forte. Long launch from here. Exceptional. back half of this quarter only three and a bit uh, minutes of play remaining but uh, Smith is just getting involved in every four row forward but from just outside 50 he can still kick the ball pretty well uh, that distance today as we've just seen it's a good launch isn't it 52 Lance couple behind great kick little handball comes off here on this occasion from McNeil now Richards Deep ball, Norton setting himself for the back. Clever mark in the end, wasn't it? Just to use the knee. Yep. Just to protect that space from behind. 
going to get an inch, though. We're going to go head to head again. Didn't miss seven games, Timmy English, so it's game 14. Well, he's done it again. He's dominating this game, Big Tim, at the moment. Bailey Smith, the dogs have got all the flow. This will bring the house down if Bailey Smith nails it and lets the crowd know. Just exploded. And now the challenge. Great deft hat work there, too. Absolutely brilliant. And then a follow up. This is exciting stuff from the dogs. Really exciting stuff for now and the future. Now Hunter looks inside 50. His kick, the pack forms, and Hannon flies! An absolute gem. Flew up, second bite needed. Good concentration to follow the ball to the ground, wasn't it? He got the perfect ride, and then being up. On the screen, you go through his CV, and it's just next level. Nothing that he hasn't achieved. Oh, big launch. Darkly flies. Spectacular grab. Just timed it beautifully. Did yeah. He didn't try to overdo it. Use the body weight. Push Henry, push Henry under the footy. Perfect time grab. Capable forward. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's got great hands, hasn't he? Overdo it. And then flicked it wildly over his head. Garcia Langdon. Oh, well done to D's again. Hibbert, but standing in the way is Gardner. Handballs to English on the run. The Ruckman. A long ball. A glorious ball. Tim English take a bow. Bang. Well, we've seen his opponent do this a lot, Max Gorn, haven't we? And... He's, I think he's Max is protege in some aspects. He's he's coming. Yeah. And to be able to do that, I talk about a task. The Ruckman to be able to do that, that is that is big on the run. There's still plenty of time. The dogs leaders need to somehow give the other players belief. Well, they do. They do need to get around and tell them that there's a lot of time left. We can we can still win from here. Not 15. McRae goes long up. Goes Rock Smith. Oh, get a cape on him. Cape Rock. What a mark, and now through perhaps an inspired moment can produce something to get themselves back in this. And this is where the leaders get around now, where it's quiet, and you can run over to your teammates and get in their ear. We can still win this. We've still got some energy. Gorn, English, no clear win. Brayshaw involved. McComb not quite. Gorn hopeful. Now Jamari Ugalhagen kicks it long. It's a got a lot of carry. That's something extraordinary. It's a high five from Jamari Eaglehagen. It's five for the night, and the dogs are home. Something special at Marvel. Well, this just might be the game, Dars, that just, just catapults this kid. Because he, he, you get a lot of confidence. He's been building and building, but to kick five on a night like tonight against the reigning Premier is pretty special. It's enormous, and the, isn't it? And the match winner. And we know the unrealistic pressure that comes on yeah. young players. It's it's really not in keeping with reality. And so to stand up against this outstanding team and have a look at that, the Bulldog fans. <laughs>